got a series of holding companies in Canada and the U.S. They're small, each of them feeding the Cayman Islands company. Management services, equipment rentals, you name it. They generate bundles of cash, and suddenly, they disappear. What does this have to do with Albert? He's been laundering money. Look at this. The Cayman Islands company gets bigger and bigger, suddenly whomp. The money's all gone. Loan to a numbered company in Alberta, which in turn purchases a controlling interest in Lynx River Resources. How'd you get all this? Revenue Canada was already tracking them. If he's moving untaxed revenue, they're gonna want their piece. But you don't like it. Money laundering, tax evasion. He pays a fine, gets two years in a country club prison. He's out in six months. William is sitting on a shipment of cocaine. We have to find the drugs and link them to Albert. I've been up and down the drug angle I can't pry loose. And if I lean on William anymore, I'm going to be nailed with harassment. You had him six months ago, but you let him off the hook. You said you didn't want any more victims. I know what I said. Albert didn't shoot you. Albert didn't pull the trigger. Albert's grandfather was George Golo, a very famous hunter. He found out his brother had slept with his wife, taken some Martin furs and left for Fort Leon. George set out on foot, two days behind, in the middle of winter. He caught up to his brother and cut off his head as he slept by the fire. Was he arrested? No one proved it. No one even bothered. Only George could have done it, would have done it. It's in Albert's blood, in his bones, to own everything and kill anyone who defies him. It's not evil or even a question in his mind. It's the way he is, like a wolverine or a bear. We can go after him for tax evasion, but that's not what this is all about. Okay, deep breath. <coughs> I've been saying it for two weeks. Now, there is no doubt in my mind, you have a lung abscess. I had pneumonia as a kid. My lung's never been good. Yeah, well, you need to be operated on. The abscess has to be removed, Albert. He, he could die. I've been feeling much better. Yeah, that's because of the antibiotics, but... Uh, They'll become less and less effective. Look, you can't put this off indefinitely. You need an operation. I'll let you know. <clears throat> Thank you. Either we change the whole plumbing system or they shut us down. They can't do that. Yes, they can. The carpet's wet in half the rooms. There's mildew climbing up the walls. Leon can do it. He's in Simpson. I'll do it myself. Jerry, last time you held a pipe wrench, you blew up your own trailer. That wasn't my fault. I just need some help. Andrew! I don't know much about plumbing. You don't have to. I just need some help with the digging. Couple hours. Sure, right. Burgers begin a house. Free videos. No way. Please. They're gonna shut me down. Two hours. See? It's gonna be fine. Do you remember this? Your father used to make these. No. I don't remember. It was before he started drinking. He had a cabin near Poncho to make. I want you to go up there and see if he's left any things. Why? The oil company wants to make a road up there. 
I don't even know how to get up there. It's too, I'll get lost. Joe will show you. He traps up there sometimes. <laughs> well, good. The next time Joe goes, he can check out the cabin. These things belong to our family. One of us should go. More to the left. It's supposed to be right here. Look. My brother helped put that pipe in. I remember. It was more to the right. I'm sure. Left. It was more in the line of the trees there. If you ever get lost in the bush, don't panic. Just start digging a hole. Sooner or later, somebody will come by and tell you you're digging in the wrong place. Jerry, a letter came for you from Switzerland. Switzerland? What is it? My uncle, Dmitro, died. Were you close? What? Well, not really, not in the last few years. Well, decades. But there was, you know, a time... You know, I think... I need to just... Uh... I'm just going up to my dad's trap land. I didn't know how to find you. I was going to send you some money. I don't want your money. Me and Kyle are going to live here. You go live somewhere else. OK. So how come you didn't tell me you were pregnant? You mean you wouldn't have hit me if you'd known I was pregnant? How's your back? Remember when you were pregnant with Kyla, it was killing you? TV, I'm seeing someone. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? That you had rheumatic fever when you were eight. That your heart is damaged and that you can't have any surgery of any kind. Now what it means. Albert, look at me, please. You've known all along that you're gonna die, haven't you? That the infection is gonna spread from your kidneys to your intestine to your heart. At least get yourself to a hospital. <laughs> Maybe jail. That's what Michelle's working on. You can't go to jail. Just tell her. No. And you don't tell her either. You don't tell a soul. That'd be a breach of medical ethics. We're going to arrest Albert. Sarah. Yeah, I'm listening. Is he going to run? <laughs> no. You think I should leave him alone? You think he's reformed? Is that why he grabbed the oil company? 
And look what he's doing to Nathan. Those aren't crimes, Michelle. Sins, maybe, but they're not crimes. Why are you defending him? He threatened your life and Elizabeth. I'm not defending him. I just, I can't hate him anymore. I've tried. I'm tired. I can't do it anymore. Doesn't it ever get to you? Yeah. And two says my old man and I used to come out here all the time. But I don't remember. Do you remember my old man? Uh huh. All I remember is him and my mother yelling, screaming, drinking at Sue, trying to stop them, dragging me out of there. Quiet. Listen. What? shoulder. Damn, I missed. You hit him. Come on. What are you doing? My knees are killing me. I'll slow you down. Me? Joe, I can't track him. I don't know how. If you lose him, head for the nearest water. The wound will make him thirsty. But we're supposed to go to my dad's cabin. Yeah, but he's not going anywhere. I'll get lost. I don't know where the hell I am. You can't leave a wounded animal in a bush. Didn't anybody teach you that? Albert wants a band council meeting tonight. He says he has an announcement to make. About what? I don't know. Sit down. I, I want to show you something. Nice, eh? Yeah. This is why I came here in the first place. Ten years or so, and I get my dream home on Vancouver Island. A little garden, maybe a small boat to get out and get crabs with. <laughs> Things didn't work out that way. But you know that letter I got about my Uncle Dmitro? Well, you know, it, it was uh, terrible news and everything. It also said he left me half a million dollars. It's sitting in a Swiss bank account. A half a million dollars? <laughs> he always said the only banker you can trust is a Swiss banker. <laughs> You're gonna leave? I never meant to stay. I mean, look at me. I live in one of my own motel rooms. <laughs> what kind of a life is that for a grown man? So I, I figure, I figure you can buy me out. I don't mean right away. I, mean, I don't want to put you in any financial difficulty. In fact, maybe I can swing a loan for uh, the plumbing. And over time, pay as you can, and the uh, coffee shop is yours. It's what you always wanted, right? When are you leaving? I don't know. Soon. So this is a good thing for both of us. The 
co-venture with Symmetry Resources of Calgary was the biggest success so far. That's uh, definitely going to be a long-term earner at 600 barrels a day over a 10 to 12 year well life. In the end, however, it's essential for Lynx River Resources to become more aggressive to achieve its potential. The long and the short of it is that Lynx River Resources would like to drill, basically, right here. That would mean relocating the entire community. Now, of course, we would be talking about very generous compensation. You could choose to be relocated to one place if you wanted, or you could all go your separate ways. And if we say no? No drilling. We cap the wells. And no money either. The Dene have always been a nomadic people. We never lived in towns. That's some European idea. We always followed the game. This time, we move for the oil. Same thing. This is our home. This is all our home. From here to Fort Liard, Simpson in the north. It's always all been ours. How much money are we talking about? We calculate 300000 per family, plus a house wherever you want it. And of course, you'll still be drawing your royalties as minority shareholders of Lynx River Resources. All in all, a damn good deal. I'll need an answer soon. I know what you're doing. Oh? You're not going to hold this town hostage. No more deals. If I can arrest you, I will. For tax evasion? You're getting desperate, Michelle. I won't let you tear this town apart. Then stop me. You had to do it, didn't you? Do one. One last shot from beyond the grave. One final victory. <laughs> but you lost the war, Albert. Two sons in jail. One crazy from fearing you and hating you. Enough. And me. You drove me away. Even though you loved me. And I loved you. No, it wasn't love. Oh, yes, it was. That's exactly what it was. Losing your home is a terrible thing. Believe me, I know. This is none of your business. Oh, I see. Hey, Joe doesn't mean... I know what Joe meant. Nine years, he never once made me feel a part of this community. You want to go down squabbling among yourselves? Fine. You get what you deserve. I'm sick and tired of fighting Albert Golo. I'm taking the money. A decent house, $300,000, what the hell? Hey, there's no reason to move the town. Even if the pool is right here, they can angle drill into it. How do you know? Peter says. Peter's got a condo in Yellowknife. What does he care? Rosie! No, listen. You work for the government, Michelle. You and Peter both. A guaranteed paycheck, benefits up the wazoo. You never understood how hard it is for the rest of us. Never. Yeah, I do understand.
What's the lung abscess? Well, it's a walled-off infection in the lung. And that's why antibiotics don't work in the long run. And the infection can still spread to uh, all the other organs. Can't they just cut it out? Your father had rheumatic fever as a child. He damaged a heart valve. He'd never survive an operation. So he's gonna die? Yeah. It's from the bullet, isn't it? The infection. Yes. So I killed him after all. Just took eight months to die. I've been waiting for you to go up for six years. Wine and bitch. Yeah, you're okay with that. I'm trying to make a family, raise kids with you, and all this time you still haven't goddamn grown up. You're still just a punk. A gutless, scared little punk. The blues shall I cut it? The map may I cut it? The dome in your book, you chaw. You clean with slows him. Your key slows him. I looked at the homes, and I had no home. God had given me nothing. And I shed tears. Bitter tears. It's a poem written by a man called uh, Tadashevchenko. My uncle Dmitro used to read poetry to us. I lost touch with all of them. My whole family. I don't know how that could be possible. I know. There was a girl in Montreal. Helena. I loved her very much. We were 70, too young. No one was ever that young. Oh, and we, we wanted to marry. But she was, um, Jewish. My uncle Mitro wouldn't allow it. But then my father had died and he was caring for me. So, of course, we said, to hell with him. We'll run away. We'll elope. But her family found out. I guess, uh, Uncle Dimitro told them. They uh, moved to Israel before we could. Uh, before. <sighs> My heart never burned like that again. <laughs> we wouldn't let it. Until I met you.
Thank you. That's a memory I can take with me. This was your grandfather's. I left you to die in the bush. I wouldn't cheat a man of his revenge. <clears throat> I was thinking I might go hunting tomorrow. After the meeting. Why should I help you die? You should suffer. The guy did. Others, too. You're the only one I can ask. I don't owe you any favors. Fire for bringing me food, luck, blessings, and health. I'm sorry. Don't touch me. Just get out. Get out! <sighs> it's not wrong to want something good for our kids. It's wrong to walk away from where we belong. Oh, come on, folks. We're talking about moving to Simpson or Liard here, not Australia. Well, why not Australia? The truth is, once you get this money, you can go anywhere you want. That goes for all of us. What are you trying to say, Peter? Once we make this deal, there'll be nothing holding us together anymore. This community will cease to exist. Legally, we'll still be a band. Fact is, we won't still be a band. Once we take the money and we agree to move off this land, we surrender our rights. If we stay, we'll die a slow death anyway. You said it yourself. No one can stop us from being who we are. I can't leave here. Hannah is here. And so is your dad. And Sandra, your nephew. We've all buried our dead here. Our ancestors are here. Who will remember them if we leave? Who will remember our stories? Excuse me. We have a meeting. Albert needs an answer one way or the other. I only bring it up because the purpose of the meeting is to make everyone rich. That is not the purpose of the meeting. Come on, then, let's go. What's going on? 
Albert's offered us all big money to leave Lynx River so they can drill here. What do you think, TV? I'm not going anywhere. I got a moose out in the bush. I need some help to bring it in. I'm afraid this particular moose is going to have to wait. If you don't respond, Lynx River Resources will take that as a no and suspend operations. Are we having a meeting? Or what? We just had one. Excuse me? Come on, TV. Let's go dress that animal. I got to go make room in the freezer. Come on, we need to get a place ready to butcher the meat. I'll give you a hand. No one's leaving. They don't want your money. Who says? Peter? They all said. The whole town. I'm not sorry I shot you. I'd do it again to protect Sarah and Elizabeth. But I killed you. I'm sorry about that. Why be sorry? What's done is done. I'm sorry because you're my father. You'll be a father soon, too. That's good. It's the way it should be. I've got the warrants. Fraud, tax evasion in Canada and the U.S. I'm going to bring him in. I'll do it. <laughs> Absolutely not. You're off duty. You're still recovering. James, listen to me. No. I came to you as a courtesy. But there's no way. I need to talk to him. Please. What do you want? I have something for you. From Albert. What is it? It's his last will and testament. My card. If you need me. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, what a mess. Not exactly my thing, you know. Where's Kyla? Sleeping. Okay. I'll see her tomorrow. How's the other one doing? Okay. Good. Look, um... guy you're seeing. Does he have a job? Why? If he's gonna be spending time with my kids, I got a right to know. Is he gonna move here? Is that the plan? I mean, how's he gonna make a living up here? TV, there is no other guy. I said that so you would understand. Understand what? That there's no going back. I don't want to go back either. Not to that. The problem is, I love you. It just doesn't go away, ever. I'm just gonna look in on her. TV.
You want some coffee? We have a warrant for your arrest. The government wants his tribute. <laughs> I had nothing to do with you being shot. You didn't pull the trigger. I've done less than you think. You've murdered people. You've destroyed lives. So have you. You and your brother. People look at you and they think all they have to do is spruce up, get in line. But instead, you get knocked down. White people have been fighting a war against us since the day they arrived. At least, I fought back. And what have you got to show for it? Children who hate you. Enemies everywhere, even amongst your own people. <laughs> Another time, we would have been on the same side. No, never. <sighs> I'm tired. Arrest me tomorrow, when all my affairs are in order. All right, tomorrow. How much time does he have? This is his will. He left the oil company to Lizzie, with me as executor. TV gets his seat back on the board, and they think it's 20% of the shares. He's giving it back to the band through Lizzie and Nathan. You went to arrest him today. Well, what did he say? He said he was tired. You guys finished the plumbing job? I got fired. Rosie's hiring a new plumber. <sighs> Jerry's giving her the money. I thought I'd work on this old rusty faucet since I'm getting so good at this stuff. Just because you never moved before doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Hell, the Navajo only got to Arizona 800 years ago. And they went for the golfing, right? Nope, for the margaritas. <laughs> We're not gonna have to move. Nobody is. How come? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. Come here.
cedar shakes, two-way fireplace. Sounds nice. Cost a fortune. Hey, 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 we're close. Well, I gotta put this meat in your freezer. We're out of space. And the lot prices are out of this world. We're close. We just need some macaroni and cheese. Yeah, yeah, okay. What were you saying? Hey, Jerry, Harris here? I'm just saying, we're closed. You promised us burgers. The, the grill's closed. And the videos. Hey, Jar. Did I eat the tea, man? I'm starved. All right, all right. I guess I can make a few sandwiches. Thank you. Hey. Hold on. What were you trying to say? I'm just saying. It's not the kind of thing you rush into. Buying real estate, I mean, you can get killed if you make a mistake. There's no rush. That's uh, what I'm saying. Talk to Albert. So what do you say? Not much. I'll tell you all about it in the morning. Talk to Andrew. What's the story? Albert is dying. He left the oil company to Lizzie and Nathan, and TV's got his seat back on the board. Well, that's good news. Have you seen Sarah? I just, uh, I wanted someone to hang on to. Someone or me? You. Hmm. Buy you coffee? Yeah, um, I just need a sec. So what can you do with Moose besides stew it? You can fry it. How's he gonna stroganoff? Wet stroganoff. 